yo what's going on youtube I'm about to put this phone down and as i drive because i want to get some um some another pair of earphones but um i'm gonna put my window up yeah i want to i want to get some earphones where the volume it blocks out all the sound at work so this is a um this will be another installment I mean, I can put all the windows up. It says 57 degrees, but it feels a little bit hotter than that. But um, I want to give you episode, I believe, five of Workplace Politics 101. So, um, and y'all know me. I don't like repeating myself. But all comments are welcome. All trolling or hey, whatever you feel like you got to say, leave it in the comment section. Cause I know um, I may get some feedback for this video. So the guy that I was saying was a real bitch. I guess like I don't. I know you probably saying to yourself, "Man, nobody want to talk to your dusty ass. <laughs> nobody want to talk to you." And you're right, they don't. And that's and I I, re I prefer that because I'm just there to work. But um, we were. I was like I was trying to get some salt. See, two things about me now. I'm not trying to use as much plastic, and I stopped drinking soda for like o over a week now. It's going on two weeks now, and my teeth look a lot better. But I um, wanted to get some salt for the floor because it had all this slippery, like it was just, just it was a substance that I don't really, I, I don't know what it was. An unspecified substance was on the floor. I wanted to put some salt and then sweep it up. So the guy I said was a real bitch. He. I had my earphones in. These things aren't loud enough. I, I heard his voice somewhat, and he was like imitating the way I was bopping my head. So um, I just like he was imitating me, started laughing, and then he said, "This is you." And I just said, I kind of just like nodded with my head. And then um, he said, "That you don't think that's you?" And I didn't say shit. And then he said, "Okay, you don't want nobody talking to you." And after that, that felt so good. Because one thing I don't like about work, I don't like people that suck dick. As in, if you don't like somebody, you don't you feel like they're weird or they're better than everybody, or you talk shit behind somebody's back, don't try to be their friend when you feel like you guys have something to talk about. Cause I um I helped him out last week because I, I had nothing to do. I was sweeping up um my like their side upstairs, and I'm like, bro, I, I still think you're a bitch. Like don't talk to me like i wasn't like saying like don't talk to me but let's not try to start it like a conversation like we're cool like like bro you you still are what you are because you know i may be standoffish i may be the way i am because i'm trying to get my money but it's just that um i i see what he is you know the you know the, the saying know them by their fruits well i know him by his his behavior so that's why you know like i said i, I didn't say nothing back and I feel like that is the that would be everything I need for him to leave me alone completely but he he um he didn't say nothing after that which was good because like I said I don't I just don't feel like in these kind of jobs they're they're good people genuine good people there's like one dude I talked to he's about to retire in a couple weeks so I'm, I'm pretty much on my own like when it comes to talking if I want to strike up a conversation, he's like the last person I will talk to. But um, my thing is this: because I had a job where you had a you had someone that was similar to my personality at his uh at like a bar and restaurant I worked at. He, I think he was on drugs or something. But one thing I didn't do, I didn't like talk shit about him. But I did associate with people who did a little bit, and I didn't really speak up against it. One thing I'm not going to do if I'm not going to pretend to fuck with somebody when I um, when I really don't, because a lot of the times that's just real two faced at the moment. But um, but yeah, he um, he really just shut up after that. I'm just um, going to Publix to get these eleven dollar earphones because I don't, I really want to just block out all sound and the guy um, the other manager. He's out on with a uh, shoulder surgery. He has to get he had surgery on a shoulder. I don't know how long he's gonna be out, but I hope that shit is over a month. Cause like I wanna stay with the agency. I mean I don't really wanna um 
I'm not really in favor of working for this company because the guy is just, it's not somebody I want to work under. That's all I will, I'll say about that. It's not somebody I feel I can trust, I can go to. But, um, yeah, that's just how I do do my, <laughs> you know, my work. I just try to block out all sound and shit talking. But any kids, if you, it's, my demographics are age 30 and up. If any child comes across this video, this should be a, um, just a little lesson that you need to get your education, man. Because everybody who skipped class, everybody that pulled the fire alarm, everybody that was the class clown and the guy who would come in like one class and leave the rest of the day, the guy that sold candy at school, but he never came to class. Or I remember one time, this guy who, um, this is when I started reading more. I was like 22. I worked with this jackass who told me, he said, he said, um, man, you don't need no college, man. All you gotta do is is watch YouTube videos and and just uh <laughs> he said just watch YouTube videos and TED Talks and you'll be fine. And he's like, um, I just said, how'd you finish high school? He said, because I was like, it sounded like you didn't really go to class. He's like, man, you don't gotta go to class. All you gotta do is just come enough times and you know, sign your name, and when the teacher ain't looking, just jump out the window and go home. And I don't know where he is today, but I don't think it's anywhere anywhere great. But this is where I'm at right now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna really rise above all this adversity. Cause I like it. I don't I like a challenge. But yeah, dude was real like he was on my dick today. And I just like kindly told him, bro, I ain't with that shit. Okay, I'm not with it. You know, do it to somebody else because I'm the wrong one. Yeah, I'm about to get these headphones. And, um, one person I want to give a shout out to is a YouTuber. Well, not a real YouTuber, but she kind of inspired me to, because I, I, was, I was on that whole like um going green i was trying to go green like early last year but i fell off of it but there's a youtuber named genesis butler you should check her out because i'm not going to be doing plastic i'm going to start recycling all my bottles and i'm going to start boycotting a lot of uh processed foods like when i stop drinking soda and juice i feel better now Hopefully they have my earphones in here because I had like got the last one one time. Hopefully they, they got them.